Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Charles Benson. Some areas have already seen several inches of rain over the past four days. Storm team forecaster Michael Fish is watching this next storm very closely. Yeah, Michael. Charles, and right now we are watching a few more pop up showers and a couple of thunderstorms. Now the main batch of severe weather is now sh south of Chicago. That's fine because usually to the north of it, you don't have big severe weather outbreaks, but still I'm going to watch this batch right here start to develop as it's doing right now in southeast Wisconsin. I'm going to be watching out by La Crosse as well and then way off to our south and west for overnight. Now this is not going to be an all night rain, but check this out on our Doppler HD radar. This is a brand new shower that's popping up and I'm sure you're probably going to start to hear a couple of rumbles of thunder soon uh, next to Union Grove. Right about now, it's starting to work its way on through. There's Franksville at around 518 Sturdivant at 520. It's starting to work its way out towards Lake Michigan. Be aware if you're in pretty much Racine County right now or northern Kenosha, you're having these new pop up showers and thunderstorms along this first wave that's moving on through. Look at some of these rainfall totals over an inch in Brookfield from our observer George there over an inch in Fond du Lac. We're going to add to these rainfall totals tonight. But as far as our big severe weather risk that is now to the south of the Wisconsin Illinois border, still can't rule out a stray one here, but still Charles, a few of these showers and thunderstorms for parts of the area tonight, not an all night event. I'll break down the forecast coming up in a bit for you. Good to know you'll be keeping an eye on things. Thanks. Yep. This